Hi guys, so I'm going to do a test between my low seat rear motor car and team associated mid motor car. I'm going to run for five minutes and see what the lap times say. So let's take a look at the actual cars. So the low seat is on the left, that's got the narrower chassis with a rear motor and the car on the right is a B6.3. Uh, team associated which I set up to a Ray Monday an Australian team associated drivers setup sheet um, so let's go and check these cars out so we're going to take the low C uh, rear motor for a five minute test yeah, and this is our uh, backyard track and this is probably the most grip that we, we've ever had See how it pushes you wider in the corners. You know that's that's just losing a little bit of time every every time it happens. Um, you can definitely see the way it jumps as well. It, it lifts the front of the car up with the motor being at the back. And uh, you know that's that's not me being still on the throttle. That's actually just the weight of the car. That's a low C22 two wheel drive rear motor buggy with a lap time of 18.27. And now for the team associated V6.3 mid motor. And straight away you can see it's tighter in the corners. Um, it's hard to get the power down, but it's definitely tighter in the corners. And you can see it. It jumps better. It's, it's flatter. It's flatter in the jumps. That was my team associated V6.3 mid motor with the fastest lap time of 17.75. Check out the different lines that happen between the low C. As you can see here, it's, it's pushing into the corners and out the corners. And you can see the different line with the mid motor. Um, that's shaving off time. Which one do you prefer? Leave a comment. If you like our video, subscribe, like and share to Short Track RC and watch this video right now.